yours? Yep. All right. <clears throat> with Evan Jagger, and uh, you know, we had a lot of talk coming through here, and the, the overarching theme, at least to start with, is uh, a lot of Jocelyn in this race. Do you want to speak to that? Um, I, I mean, I didn't really feel it. I was, I think I was in second place for most of the race. Um, I wasn't really getting shoved around at all. There's just a couple of quick surges that I tried to go with. Uh, that was the, the hardest thing probably for me. But other than that, um, I mean, I was right up next to consensus the whole time. And, uh, we might have just barely brushed elbows a couple of times, but uh, I mean, I got spiked, but it wasn't really that physical for me. I don't think. Uh, just in terms of when they made that final move and that gear shift happened, uh, obviously expecting it, but uh, just not able to react the way you thought? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, Concessless and Kenboy, they're so good at doing that. Um, obviously, Kenboy's shown he can do it better than anyone else in the world, maybe ever, probably ever. Won so many world championship and Olympic medal golds, and then three or four silvers to go along with it. He's by far the best championship uh, steeplechaser of all time, uh, in my eyes at least. And he's just got something that uh, I haven't been able to figure out how to do, um, and that is change gears extremely quickly and. Uh, put five, five meters on his competitors in a second. So uh, it's, it's really hard to compete against that, personally. Um, I've got to figure out how to do it. Speak, speak of the double. Uh, nice shot. Great. i got to figure out how to, how to do it my way. his game and beat him, uh, or contestants for that matter. Uh, those, those guys are both extremely good at doing that, so it's tough for me. Um, but yeah, I, my legs just didn't have it over that last lap. They put it in surge, and I tried to go with him and stay relaxed, and uh, yeah, I just, I just didn't have it in my legs today. Yeah, Compared up. to some of the last years, yeah. how two disappointed are you today? Two years ago? Yeah, or just or London or two years ago. I mean, how do you? Oh uh, yeah. How do you? You came in, I think, with much higher expectations this time. Yeah, for sure. I definitely had higher expectations. Um, it's yeah, it's really disappointing. I I wanted to be the type of athlete today that I was in Paris and. I don't think I showed that at all. I feel like I've actually taken a step back from where I was two years ago in Moscow, um, purely based on end result. Uh, I definitely raced completely different than I did in Moscow, uh, so I'm I'm happy with how how I executed my race, or not how I executed my race, but how I went into the race. Uh, my mentality was and um, how I did tactically. Uh, I, I ran to try and win the race and to try and medal. Uh, whereas in Moscow two years ago, I kind of positioned myself in fifth and sixth, fifth or sixth. And uh, when it really started going, I was kicking really hard, uh, trying to stay in touch with those guys and kind of hoping that one right. or two would come back to me as opposed to being up front and trying to control the race. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I tried to get up to the lead and just kind of, I didn't do anything near close to what was needed to kind of zap those guys' legs. So uh, it's frustrating to not be able to perform. Yeah, and you, that I thought I was at. 
when you and Jairus came in with by far or the best times this year, and you, you both missed the medals. Yeah. I mean, do you think it's? And then we, we're asking contestants, say, hey, what's it, you know what happened to them? And he's like, it's championship versus yeah. diamond league, very different type yeah. races. Yeah, I, I think it's a couple of things. Um, I think for me, uh, breaking like the break in rhythm, kind of. It's I'm uh, not as good at doing that as I am going out and just riding that red line the whole time and uh, putting myself to that edge and just holding that. Um, and also, everyone shows up with their 100, 110% game face on uh, on this one day. And the, I think the Diamond League grind for the Kenyans can get a little tough. So they they might show up really wanting to run well and win the race at one rate one meet and kind of get tired and not have it all there uh, another day. So it's easier to kind of uh, get the upset win in, in those situations, whereas like everyone's been totally focused on this for four or five weeks and. Uh, this is all they really care about, and uh, they, they bring their their A game for sure. And you think, is it possible for someone to come out in one of these races and sort of, without a rabbit, make it a, closer to an eight flat race? Or do you think it's, you have to learn how to race more like this? I mean, yeah, I think it's possible. You probably have to be in like world record shape to to go out and lead eight flat wire to wire. Uh, yeah, it's extremely hard to do, but. I think you could probably, if you were in sub-8 shape and you go out and you run a 10 pace from the gun and hope that someone takes the lead and then you get a little break and then kick, that's possible, but it's so much harder to do it that way than sit back right. and let someone else and do the work and kick. I mean, you, Did you have a game plan coming in about how to combat the Kenyans, you know, their team yeah. tactics working together? Yeah, for sure. Um, I didn't have any expectations of how the race was going to go uh, for the first 2K. I thought it could be extremely slow. It could also, I thought Birech um, might realize that he does better in a really fast race than a slower race, so I thought he might take it out. Uh, didn't really happen, so I was going in um, trying to put myself in the top two or three and just kind of run how I have at USA's and at Paris if I like happen to take the lead over a water jump or like feel the pace lag a little bit, kind of just move into the lead and squeeze it down, tighten the screws and run like 64, 61, 59 if I could do that or something like that. Try to run too flat for the last 800. Um, was up in second and me like just moving to the lead didn't really ever happen naturally and so I tried to start pressing a little bit to get up to the lead and consensus held me off every time so I it would have it was really hard I I really tried to go with 500 tried to get up into first and he held me off the whole home stretch so it, yeah my <laughs> tactics didn't really go the way that I had planned and just shows how strong these guys are uh, at championship style racing. It's it's a completely different game than Diamond League. Sure. You talked about you know maybe having to be in a world record shape. You weren't quite there, but in Paris you're gonna run 757, 758. Yeah. So what's next? Do you still think you're in that type of shape? And what's next? I mean, based off of today, no, I don't feel like it. like I didn't feel like I was a 757 runner that last lap. Uh, I don't know if that was, like I said, me trying to get to the lead or uh, I tried to stay as emotionally and mentally composed as I could even during that last lap. So I don't think I really wasted too much mental energy over the course of the race. Uh, so, I, I mean, I don't, my, my results didn't show that I'm in 757 shape, but I didn't lose anything in training over the last four or five weeks. Um, to, to 
point to me losing that that amount of fitness. So. Is there a steeple at Brussels or Zurich? Or? Zurich has has the Diamond League final in the steeple, and uh, I was yeah planning on racing there. I'm still planning on racing there, um, but yeah, I'm not sure if my racing plans will change after this. Uh, yeah, like I haven't been able to talk to Jerry obviously, so. We'll talk about things. Um, I'll probably still race Zurich, see how, just see where I'm at in, in terms of fitness. Uh, maybe I'll bounce back, do better in that rabbit style race. We'll see. What would have been the risk in going? I mean, do you feel like anyone was actually in the record shape you're talking about? Said I wanted to do that from about 900 meters out, but when you do it over the course of an entire 3,000 meters, it, it becomes really hard. There's reasons. There's a reason why we have rabbits at Diamond League races because no one wants to go out and lead the entire race and try to try to win. It just it's much easier just relaxing and sitting sitting off of people and sitting behind them and letting them do the work. Uh, save a lot of mental energy and uh, I, I definitely don't think that would have been in my best interest to, to lead everyone out at 8 flat base because I mean that's my PR and um, all four of those guys have run 801 or faster so they most likely all would have been there anyways and would have done zero work um, when it came to the last lap so uh, yeah, I don't think that would have helped my chances at all. Of your three championship uh, steeples, does this one sting the most? Yeah, probably. Uh, in in cert, certain ways, yes and no. Um, I mean, I definitely put myself out there today. Uh, so I, I raced how I, absolutely how I would have wanted to, to, to medal. If I had medaled, been in a completely different state of mind and uh, level of happiness and sadness. But uh, in Moscow, I just kind of hung back the whole time, still thinking that I could medal, but hoping to pick up some some guys that kind of just dropped off, but that never happened. So I felt like I could taste a medal the whole time in Moscow, and just they just pulled away from me and. I didn't really do anything about it the entire race to get that medal. I just kind of hung out there. Today I I raced how I wanted to. I raced with the purpose of, of meddling and not playing their game. I, I kind of, well, at least I tried to go to the front and take the lead. It just didn't work out that way. So uh, happy with my game plan. I just am not happy with my fitness or my result. What is it you think about Ezekiel Kimboy that he's kind of able to bounce around, have some ugly 830s, and then he always shows up in these, these championship races? Like I said, um, the Diamond League like season can be it can be tough on you. Uh, you have to get yourself up every every single race uh, seven times throughout the course of the year, and um, the. It's obviously not as prestigious as winning a world championship or Olympic medal, so I, I can see motivations not fully being there uh, from time to time. And if things if things aren't going the way that you, you hope they would go in a diamond league, it's easier to just kind of check off and say it's not your day um, and like miss the difference between like two thousand dollars and one thousand dollars or whatever it is. But at a world Championships, uh, the stakes are a lot higher, and usually you've been thinking and preparing for this one race for three or four weeks, and that's usually your your main goal for the, the entirety of the season. So uh, everyone's always going to bring their A plus game at these World Championships, and uh, no one's going to check off just because they're not feeling comfortable or whatever it 
is. So uh, you always get the best of every athlete that shows up at this final, and uh, I, I think that's not always the case in the Diamond Leagues. And speaking of Kimboy, does it make you feel any better? There's online betting, like Bovada Sportsbook. So I think uh, Jairus is about even money. I think you and Kimboy were next tied, like I think four to one or three to one. Yeah. So I mean, people are betting money. You are the equal to the, obviously, you know, the greatest thief forever, really. Yeah. So uh, I mean, I'm sure two years ago people weren't betting on Evan. No, Yager, I, Evan I guarantee Yager they weren't. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's cool. I'm sorry if anyone bet on me. It sucks. Uh, I definitely didn't. They only need you to win one out of every three times. So. Yeah, I definitely didn't prove I was worth those odds. Uh, definitely not compared to Kemboy. So, I mean, you should. You have to look at his his medal tally over his career. Uh, he's an incredible athlete. Um, so he, his odds should have been like even, basically. Uh, yeah, he's, he's tough to beat at these championships. He's he's incredible for sure. Good job. Good luck in Zurich. Thanks.